Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. Uh, this is gonna be an intro to a video that I've already recorded, which was installing the rock tamers that I got from Liam and the team while we were in Vegas for SEMA. We're gonna go over some of our future plans, what went down in Vegas, and just hopefully some uh, some exciting stuff coming out soon. Uh, please watch the video, don't mind the voice. I'm just getting over something for right now. But uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, comment, questions, whatever you guys wanna see with it. We're out here. You know, just trying to get some footage, some photos for a lot of our partners and spon sponsors that got us to SEMA. So again, I uh, hope to hear from you guys and see you soon. Take it easy.
going on. So we're finally getting, you know, wound down from SEMA. We're back at the house, taking care of some small things that we need to fix. So drama on the way back. Truck drove out beautifully, went out there. Uh, Sunday morning, no problem, everything was fine. Coming back, everything was good. We stopped off, of course, over at uh, Eddie's largest truck stop in the world. Uh, got some things, some snacks. Uh, found a spot to take some pictures, found, saw some dirt. So we're like, oh, let's just go ahead and do like a little flex thing. Did that with a couple of the builds. Jumped back on the freeway. Five minutes later, I'm getting told that I'm smoking and stuff is flying on the truck that's falling behind me, which is the wife's over here. Looked at my temperatures, everything was fine. I'm thinking, okay, obviously, you know, cats, maybe since we're on O2 sensors, maybe raw fuel's dumping out the back. I don't know, but everything looked good. Uh, kept driving it, no problems. Uh, started smelling something weird, but again, everything looked good. Temperatures were fine, oil levels were fine, coolant was fine. So then we get closer to the house, pull in, and I get out, and the whole truck is just covered in like a soot. Uh, I did washer, uh, so it's not as bad, but there was just stuff splattered everywhere, all over the truck. I'm talking about suspension, the wheels flipped up in the back, front, everywhere. It just looked like somebody threw something all over the truck, right? I get out, I'm smelling, nothing weird. I look underneath, and it's just pouring transmission fluid which I found out later. I thought maybe I'd do like a power steering line or something like that when we did the little flex ramp kind of thing on the dirt, uh, got a little wonky, but I figured you just pull the line, maybe just because of the height or whatever, but no. As I try to drink, bring it to the shop on Monday, it does not want to get out of like second gear. It's screaming 6,000 RPM going on the freeway and I'm freaking the hell out, right? I've fixed this transmission like four times the last couple months. So then we go, we drop it off, he looks at it, and I guess the trans cooler in the front blew a line off. So it was just puking uh, tranny fluid all over there. Now again, temperatures were fine, nothing got hot, which was really crazy, but it did get hot the morning that I took it to the shop. So obviously it sat, all the fluid drained out probably, the pressure was gone, and then it just would not switch gear. So Luckily they went, got that taken care of. I'll put in a little picture of what it looked like here. Um, so we did a larger cooler and fittings, all like the goodies. It looks so clean. The guys at the shop were like, we wanna make sure that this matches the truck. So we redid that, got it all good, driving good. I'm driving it now, I'll take it back next week just to see how it is right before Thanksgiving. Hopefully everything's all good and we're done with this whole transmission drama. So that's the main part. Uh, second piece is when we got back, obviously we got some new goodies when we got here. Uh, these would be our rock tamers. Let's see if we can get it in here. Maybe not. All right, get it later, there we go. So, got the lights put on, uh, which are pretty easy. Just goes right into the uh, four pin of the trailer. Uh, gives you brake, lights, and turn signals, which is really cool. Went on super easy. Uh, plug and play, basically. It actually gets bolted on with the way the mud flaps are, so it's not going where it's not double-sided tape or anything like that. It's just really secure. Uh, so we got that all taken care of, which is funny, because you would think out of all the tickets that I've gotten in California, it actually was. For not having mud flaps now again will i run these all the time who knows as of right now i'm gonna run them see how it goes but i like the way they look a lot of people are thinking they're big chunky uh kind of in the way but they really go with the i think the feel of the truck um even now i'm still wider than what the mud flaps stick out so it still looks really clean hopefully stop some stuff being flung up in the back and again if i'm getting followed by the wife's ram i'm not going to destroy it as you can see still rocking our pink wheels thank you cab king for those crazy caps um that's it. Here's just like a walk around if you didn't see it at SEMA. I wish you could have. Uh, now again, everybody tells me, which is funny here, let me get out of the sun, that this truck is not tall. I'm 6'2". Okay, that's my mirror. Now again, I get it, but it's still tall. I don't know why people keep telling me my truck isn't that big. Uh, we're sitting at about 14 inches maybe totally. And again, on the Hummers, it's really not that big only because we have a huge gap as it stands and our hoods slant down. So we're next to like these Fords or these Rams. You don't look as tall uh, only because of that. But if you look at our actual lift size, oh yeah, and my half windows, right? Have you seen these on the Hummer? Like half windows, not even full windows. So the top of my truck is not tall like you would see like on an F-350 or like a new 2500 Ram. So it doesn't look as tall if you look at it that way. But if you look at it like lift wise, like from the ground to the bottom of the truck is definitely a lot taller than what you think it is. Uh, what else? 
Uh, we had a great time, great sponsors, XK Glow, uh, Mojave Auto Parts, um, obviously works off road, got us in with the wheels, RVP tires, uh, man, Stinger off road audio, killing it with that setup they sent us, Gen Y of course, Roadwire, amazing interior, uh, Fusion bumpers really set the look off of this truck that we've been needing so long. Foot lock help us keep everything together with our hitch. Uh, and again, Gen Y for the uh, flag mount as well. That thing was amazing. Uh, and again, obviously we have the bumpers going on. Let's see, it might have a little leak still going on right here. So yeah, it looks like there might be some transmission fluid somewhere still in these nooks and crannies. So we're still kind of figuring it out. But let me see if I can get you in here so you can see the actual hand fittings. So there, you should be able to see them. With the new cooler in the front, looking pretty sick. So I didn't know how big we wanted to go, but we fit as much as we could using the stock wrapping. We want everyone to be in the same place, getting great airflow coming to the front. Uh, what else? Let's see if you guys haven't seen any of the interior. Let's open this bad boy up real quick. All right, obviously we got our whole roll cage going on in here. Got the road wire with the green. And the stitching, the diamond, of course. The suede inserts, looks really good. Obviously we have it all the way in the front and the back. Don't mind, we still got some stuff from SEMA in there. Uh, what else? Got a little XK Glow switch on the side here for our front bar with the chase lights. Um, and that's it. I'll get some of the stereo as well so we can check that out. But again, I just wanna thank everybody for coming out. <sighs> now it's time to start looking for this year or next year 2023 right so we like the look we want to keep it going maybe go a little bit bigger um a little different maybe underneath obviously color scheme may or may not stay wheels may or may not stay depending on what ones we're going to be running with uh that's possible perfectly in the fusion uh, i got the tire carrier on which is great i am going to try to see if i can get this third bolt in it does help with the stability of it i think we're just going to get a spacer machine for right here and then bolt it in from the back side Hey, even on Sundays, we get ice cream trucks. Um, and then we'll probably, we'll start focusing on this one. It's been sitting for a while. Same look as it's been for the last year or so. So maybe I can talk her into going a little bit taller. That's the kind of the call. Um, maybe hopefully switch up those wheels. What else? We got the boys doing their builds as well. Our boy Diego and his uh, dually Ram that we just got done at Bulletproof. Ray and his Tremor. Uh, f-series truck so we got to get that done probably do some crazy stuff on that so stay tuned for his build we got a jeep that we're going to be building um obviously we're working with a couple other people kyle and his 2500 so maybe he'll revamp the style as well oh, i'm telling you just look at this setup it just looks so good I'm telling you and look how wide she is even the alignment still looks good after a long drive. Man, I love looking at this truck. If you don't love looking at your truck or your build, I don't know what you're doing. Cause man, I love it. Coming out in the driveway and seeing it every day just kind of makes it real every time. I love the way my rap guy, Danny did all my stickers. A little roll call right there. Obviously main sponsor works up on the window back here. Woo wee, I'm telling you. If you want us in your booth, we do it big. We definitely showcase everything you give us. And anybody that wants to join the build going forward, let us know. I mean, we got the daily. Uh, don't worry too much about that. Anyways, um, it was a great experience this year. I always heard, you know, everybody tells you about the drama and how crazy it is loaded. Honestly, this year was smooth. One area, you showed up, you got your load in, they took you to your spot. Yeah, there was time, but it was time. I mean, that's just what it is. You gotta get people, you know, staged and in the right area. That wasn't a big deal. It was hurry up and wait like any other show I've ever been to, but it wasn't chaotic of, oh, you're at the wrong gate. You gotta go here and then you gotta go there. It wasn't people redirecting. It was actually a very smooth process and I loved it. Uh, it is definitely a high and we're all coming off of that high right now, but I wouldn't change it for the world. We definitely wanna plan on going back again this, uh, next year in 2023. Uh, we just don't know with what vehicles or if all the vehicles once again, uh, but stay tuned. I know we were gonna keep going. Uh, we're gonna do some crazy things. We're partnering with a lot of different people in this upcoming year. Uh, and again, Rock Tamers being one of them, they're one of the newest to the game, but you might wanna know this. Their parent company, Cruiser Accessories, have been around for a lot longer than you think. You go into like O'Reilly and uh, let's say AutoZone, Pet Boys, those license plate frames, 
they're like 75% of that business. They started the whole chain link license plate frame, which I didn't even know. But this family business has been around that long that they're kind of still in that game. So that's crazy to me. So they're just obviously adapting uh, with what the industry is looking for. And these rock tamers are one of them. Again, this is a big thing that people are getting tickets for, especially if you have a lot of poke in certain states, uh, they'll come after you. This will help out with that. And then you don't have to go to AutoZone to buy some cheesy little money flap, throw it on. These actually work. Uh, which I like and they're easy to remove because there's a big bracket that just kind of attaches and works with the Gen Y. So you're able to kind of loosen this uh, bolt up right here, adjust these, hang them lower or higher, whatever works for you. And then if you don't really need them on the whole time, you undo these three and you can pull out the whole bar itself, which is nice. So you keep the bracket on and then you can take off on the actual mud flaps Here's the little system with the lights, which is pretty sleek. Uh, so we like it. I love it. It looks good. Hopefully you guys like it as well. Hopefully you guys will check them out. They actually do those little name plates at the bottom down here. You can actually do custom ones or say Chevy or whatever, but obviously we want to rock who we're representing. So again, we want to say thank you to Liam and the Rock Tamer crew and Cruiser Accessories. But uh, that's it guys. Hopefully we'll see some more uh, how-to videos with some new products coming soon. Get this thing updated. Maybe change the color of the suspension, get it redone. Uh, Brian, be on the lookout for this uh, thing being dropped off to you. But other than that, we'll catch you next time.